Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh Bhavne. So today I come up with a tutorial which is based upon the Tinkercad circuit platform. Uh, so on few days back I have found a new sensor on the Tinkercad circuit platform. So here you can see, now we have got new sensor that is soil moisture sensor in the Tinkercad circuit. So I thought to make a tutorial which is based upon the soil moisture sensor in Tinkercad circuit. So without wasting time, let's get started. Uh, so first I'll show you the demo of this project, how this project is work and all. As you know that soil moisture sensor is basically used for detecting the moisture present inside the soil. So what I've done here, like whenever the moisture is more, then your LED should turn on and the buzzer should turn on. So I'll click on start simulation now. And I'll just show you the serial monitor. Now the value on the serial monitor is 0, 0. So just click on this soil moisture sensor. And on the left hand side you can see uh, the moisture is very less. And the right hand side you can see the moisture level is increasing. So whenever the moisture is increased, as you can see, the buzzer and the LED start. So this is the simple project that I wanted to create here. So instead of using LED and the buzzer, what you can do, you can use one relay module and you can turn on the pump. So just place the relay model instead of LED and you can auto, you can able to make this so that you can able to make the smart plant watering system. So I'll click on stop simulation. Now we'll start it from the scratch. So I'll delete everything. Yeah, so I'll delete everything now. Code is deleted, everything is deleted now. So I'll go to the so now I'll take out the sensor. This is the soil moisture sensor. Let's take out this one. And now I need Arduino. So let's take out the Arduino with breadboard. So I'll take out this one. So as you know that soil moisture sensor has three pins. One is VCC, one is ground, and another one is signal. So the VCC is plus five volt and the ground is ground, and the SRG is signal pin, which is analog output pin. So now what we'll do, we'll just connect VCC pin to the plus 5 volt supply, which is this directly, I'll connect it here and I'll make it red. And then we need to connect the ground pin. Let's connect the ground pin to the ground and let's change its color to black. Okay, so now we need to connect the signal pin, which is analog output pin of the soil moisture sensor. So we'll connect it here. So now we need to connect the signal pin of the soil moisture sensor to the analog input pin of the Arduino. So let's connect it. So I'll just take it from here. And just connect it here. So I'll change its color so that we can easily identify which one is the analog pin. Yeah. So now we have connected signal pin to the analog input A0 of the Arduino. So connection is done. So now we'll take out the LED. So just click on basics and just take out the LED and then take out the buzzer. So this is the piezoelectric buzzer. Let's take out this one. Now just do the connection accordingly. So this is the cathode which should be connected to the ground. So I'll connect it to the ground here and then the anode pin should be connected to the any digital pin of the Arduino. So I'll connect it to the pin number 12 and I'll change its color to red. And I'll change the cathode color to black. Now let's connect the buzzer plus to the any digital pin of the Arduino. So I'll connect it to the pin number six and I change its color to red and connect the negative pin of the buzzer to the ground and change its color to black. So this is very simple connection. So now we have connected soil moisture sensor, buzzer and the LED with the Arduino. So now we need to do the most important part of this project that is coding. So let's click on code. So I'll do the coding in the block. So now we need to create a variable in order to store the soil moisture sensor data. So I'll create a variable named moisture sensor data or whatever name you want to give, you can give moisture data. And click on OK. So now we have created a variable for storing the soil moisture sensor data. So I'll take out this one. I'll zoom it first. Yeah. So as you know that soil moisture sensor is giving the analog input to the Arduino, which is connected to pin number A0. So let's take this block that is read analog pin A0 and put it inside the variable. Now we are storing the data at the A0 pin inside the variable moisture data. So now we wanted to print it on the serial monitor. So I'll go to the output and take out this print to serial monitor. And again go to the variable and take out this moisture data and put it here. So now if I click on start simulation, we are able to see the data given by the soil moisture sensor onto the serial monitor. Now let's click on moisture sensor 
and just try to increase the moisture level and now you can able to see the moisture is increasing now so you need to keep the record of this sensor readings like what is the maximum reading like this is the complete moisture level and this is the very less moisture this is the highest value that we are getting like 874 this that means there is more moisture now the condition is we wanted to turn on this led based on the moisture reading so whenever there is less moisture then this led should turn on so now in order to build the smart plant watering system then we need to turn on the pump so whenever the soil is dry so as you know that now the soil is dry so like whenever the value is less than 21 the soil is dry and then we wanted to turn on our pump so now instead of using led you can use the relay here and then connect your motor pump to the relay then so now you can see the whenever the soil is dry the value is very less like 21 so now we wanted to turn on our pump so instead of using led you can use the relay board here so the just turn on the relay then automatically your pump will turn on so now i'll just stop the simulation and i'll just go to the control block and i'll just take out this if then else statement and i'll go to the maths and i'll take out this one right if the moisture sensor data if moisture sensor data is less than 21 that means there is a dryness in the soil so then we wanted to turn on the led right so go to the output and take out this block right set pin 0 to high and take two of these blocks right so we wanted to turn on the led so led is connected to the pin number 12 and also we wanted to turn on the buzzer whenever there is a dryness let's click on 6 and just duplicate these blocks and place it here so now whenever there is no dryness then we wanted to turn it off so let's click on low now yeah so this is very simple programming that you can do it's very simple let's click on uh, just click on start simulation now we can see the value is less than 21 so whenever the value have increased the buzzer and led is stopped right so instead of using led just use the relay board and then connect your pump then you can easily able to turn on your pump based on the soil moisture sensor data so this is how we can able to build the smart plant irrigation system using the soil moisture sensor yeah so this is about like how we can able to use the soil moisture sensor inside the tinkercad circuit platform so i hope you found this video useful for you then just do subscribe to the channel and like the video thanks for watching see you in the next video